All right, G2, let's see it. Let's see the draft, because this is where Mad Lions make or break the game. Ash, Azir, what did I say? I forgot. Smolder, Zeri, Vi can be contested. Rumble ban is questionable. I feel like it's going to be open this series. We'll see if they've been practicing it. G2's blue side. Okay, so Zeri, Smolder needs to be looked at. Vi ban, there it is. There's the Azir ban. Some I'm surprised Zeri hasn't been touched. And, I mean, with Tristana ban, Corky first pick's really good. Maybe they decide to ban Corky because Broken Blades Rumble was pretty bad. Poppy ban, they must be banning Corky last, right? So we've got Corky open, Maokai open, Zeri open, Smolder open. Maybe they leave Corky open and let them first pick it and play Smolder into it. They need to be careful. G2 of not first picking Corky, I think that's a mega bait. If Zeri and Smolder are open, they haven't banned them, right? So the Corky first pick is weakened. They ban Smolder. They're kind of di they're daring G2 to bat to pick Corky. They've given G2 three bans for Corky. They're saying, yo, pick Corky, I dare you. Do it. Do it. G2 aren't taking the bait. They're not doing it. They're gonna go for the Ash, like I talked about. The Ash ban's not there. They're just gonna go for the Ash. They're not gonna overcomplicate. So they have given over Maokai Corky if Mad Lion. Wanted. Mads were setting up a trap and G2 didn't fall into it. Now, don't forget, Mads can flex the Corky, right? What could you do here? Let's see Yikes pick. He must be going Sedge or Ivern with these chaps open. 100% he's looking at Sedge or Ivern. Maybe he looks for an AP jungler, but if they do that, they have to pick Caps as mid laner. What has Caps got into, into Corky with these bans? It could be Lucian. Early rotation, Rel. I wonder if Mads just picks Ziggs on 3, flex the Corky till 4 5, test. Dare the support bands and take the draft. Ash Rel is fine. It's got to be Ivern here for, for Yike, but I'm not sure if he's. They can't. It's either it's either mid or jungle. You can't pick top here, I think. Can he play Yone maybe? Gwen jungle. It's Gwen jungle. Apparently, it's really strong. I saw Razork playing it as well. What do you do here? Is mad. You could just pick. Uh, and what do you pick? Alistar into Rel for. They're not going to oh, test the support drop. So it's G2 that have cooked already. I feel like the Gwen needs some CC around her. It's very crazy that they're dropping mids. Let's see the bans here. They could ban out more mids like Lucian, um, Yone. Jace is kind of shit for G2. They could ban Cassante, Lucian, Yone, I think are good bans. Any kind of AD champs that facilitate the Gwen. Yeah, there's the Cassante. So that's one of the three. G2 can definitely look to target. It's hard. ADs, I guess. I mean, Jin is a good ban. It is. Ziggs, Jin are good bans. Kaisa, Kaisa, shit. I think it's yeah, Varus as well is good. Caster, ADs, Jin, Varus, MF are what comes to my mind. Are they going to ban Zeri? Because Zeri is open. I wonder if Mad picks Zeri here and flex both. Because they also have Jin, Ziggs, and MF for AD. But if they pick Zeri, they can double flex. And that'll hurt G2 a lot. They should probably think of a Zeri ban here. It's not even for bot lane. I mean, it kind of is for bot lane, but they're going to ban out the Rumble. I wonder if Zeri flex for Mad is good. They're going to go for the MF. Okay. Are they going to go for the MF? What is Caps called mid? Is, is G2's draft just going to be... What's Broken Blade's blind pick? Are they going to do like Lucian Rennington, Lucian Nar? I mean, they could take Zeri for Caps, but I didn't like Caps as Zeri at all. Ooh, Silas into Maokai Alistar is nice. Very nice. Silas Gwendo, you're really limiting your win conditions in fights. You're both the same champ, basically. You're both going melee range. And you're both AP. I mean, Silas Rennington would be quite nice 4 5 here. He's going to go for the Yasuo, is he? Oh, it's Caps Yasuo game one, and the Rennington. There's the Rennington. He's gonna commit for the Yasuo. I like that a lot, but he doesn't have many knockups. I worry for that Yasuo pick. Kennen last pick there for Mirwin. Wow. G2 playing Yasuo Gwen mid jungle. I don't like it, you know. It's hype, but this Yasuo doesn't have any setup. I know they have Rel, but that's it. They just have Rel. All they have is Rel. <laughs> And the Rel is against Alistar. You think Rel's good enough? Chat, I don't think so. Let's see, though. The Yasuo, like, against their comp is a bit rough. The good news is they have Windwall on Yasuo for MF ults for Corti. Um, the bad news is Maokai is really annoying for Yasuo. It is. Maokai is super annoying for Yasuo. Maokai Alistar for Yasuo is just annoying. But yeah, let's see the Gwen jungle. Let's see it. Wow, you're subbed? Ooh, you're not subbed. Make sure you click that button and like the video.
Enjoy, buddy. Look at Yikes' account. He's been playing so one. much Gwen Jungle. Look at that with Ghost. G2. How will the Gwen He's building be. Nashros into Rabidons. Power farms. Every game, Nashros Rabidons, Nashros Rabidons. He's played a lot of them. Look at this. 20 games of it, 75% win rates, 15 and 5 in the last two weeks. No lane swaps. Yikes is going to start blue. Didn't you used to start E on Gwen Jungle and auto E auto was the clear, I think? W is ready. He can go for a flip here with Hansama's W coming up and try and chunk out Alvaro. They're kind of playing together. Oh, they're playing the bush quite nicely there. E start Yasuo is quite strong here. He could E E auto if he wants. Yeah, Hansama has Ghost. I think he has Ghost because he wants to run the fuck away from Kennen. He has no cleanse because I guess he doesn't need it. I mean, Kennen and Maokai have a bit of CC. Alistar stunts, but maybe. I mean, Ash Ghost is really useful. You can space a lot easier on Ash with Ghost. I mean, any mobile AD with Ghost is quite nice to play that's, you know, like Varus, Ash, just quite nice in general. But I guess he can run the fuck away from uh, Alistar and Kennen. G2 look like they have three pushing lanes right now. BB crashes the wave. But overall, G2 he only missed one map. CS on the first three waves. He's 18 out of 19. Nice. He's just on he has Windwall here, Cap, so he can get a really good trade on the exit. Nice recall, though, yeah, there it is. Nice. Goran Shield, Fleet Footwork. He's chilling really hard in this lane. I don't know if he has Absorb Life as well, but if he does, that Yasuo is absolutely fine in his lane. Oh, good sweeper. Spot tell Yoya. Oh, yeah, we'll let him know. They see his full clear. He left red buff up till last so he could have it for longer. And he's swept off again by Broken Blade. For to get involved. They're going to try and secure a double crab here for Yike. He's already Maybe greedy. Yasuo so has first move, but I mean, Yike has smite and Yoya doesn't. Level four versus level four he should know Yike's here. He's kind of wasting his time. Any potential early tankiness. The thing that you also have to keep an eye on is Gwen is Risky combo by the Alistar there. Up. Oh, he levels up though. Very nice. Good timing. Well. No plays happening yet. Pretty even game other than jungle got double crab. Ultimately, a very Mid's small, fine. Caps can base. A small advantage gain for Yike from can push out on base. Bot's early, fine. Uh, Top is fine. Drake start by Yoya is not bad here. Caps gets Everyone a Zerker Grave uh, start. In right now. Actually, it's a really bad start, Drake, here. Look at the levels. Malkai needs to clear his top camps quick. Is there a bot dive here? G2 just want to trade as hard as possible. Because their jungler's right there. I think they're just going to use this to maybe get a Drake. I don't think there's a dive here. I feel like they should just do Drake here, G2. No kill pressure quite and Mad Lions will do uh, grubs, pretty uh, standard stuff, trading. The nice thing for Yoya is top crab will spawn. But Gwen's quite quick on these objectives, isn't she? Yeah, Caps is trying to stop him getting crab. Phase rush quite nice from Maokai there. Yike W'd the, uh, the Maokai sapling. Yeah, this would be the third crab for Yike. You are very reliant though on Broken Blade if you go for the top side skirmish. Super step forward though. And Q gonna be there. Shadow nice. Strike, a damage back, but Spacing by hand. The, the, the ghost is coming nice in so handy there. And on, so just watch Chat, don't say F. Operate, the big focal point for me with Mad Lion's Coy so was annoying. early aggression and they might go on to Caps. Caps. As the creeps to dash through, should be easy. He might Steps die here. Make sure he has the correct direction. Now has the Q3, but Elio just gonna flash into Q4 with the knock. I'm not gonna be that Caps flashing out the wind wall. Tier two boots. Waiting, his time. He has Blinking. tier two boots. Easy clap HP. for Caps. Run, run. No flash, Maokai. Yeah, the tier two boots are so powerful, aren't they? He kind of has to flash W there, Yoya, or Cap just basically runs away. Easy clap. Cannon building Leanderis. Yeah, nothing's really swung yet. It's, it's dead even, just Yikes getting a big jungle lead. Yikes getting pretty scary on this Gwen. Yike wants to fight him on the Krog, smite it away. Level 8 for Gwen. Oi, 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 this Gwen's wrong. They could one-shot Kennen on the tower, but they are a bit scared. I think it's because Yasuo is getting the plant in bot. He's getting the health plant. He's healing up on Crab and getting the health plant. So he doesn't really want to pull the top dive because Corky can move. So it's mad to call the swap. I think it's because Mirwin is under threat of a kill. 15 gold lead to AD, 10 to support. Jesus. I'm worried for G2, man. Like, I know the Gwen is getting really strong, but they got to get a fight going, I think. Rel 6, Yasuo's ready. Take this Grubs fight. For sure, take this Grubs fight. Maokai no flash. The problem is they have bot push here, Mad, and Kennen's fogging, but they see him on a ward now, and they ping him. So G2 have good information of the play. Hansama's a bit split off, isn't he? Really They're going to lose six Grubs, are they? They're going to lose six Grubs. 
Not great. Anything here. Conceding six grubs is incredibly rough. G2 are pinging for the Drake. Caps has TP to get back to lane, and BB has the bot push. Two Drakes for two sets of grubs. Let's see how Matt can use them, because right here on that timing on basing is really bad against six grubs. Like MF will murder that tower. That base from Ash was rough. Rough. Level nine on Yike is a full level up. They could just Maokai old zone them off tower if they want. They know Gwen's bot side. Here he comes. They might go for Mickey here. Great combo. Hansama's dead too, basically. Alvaro might have to flash out. Great dive by Matt. They knew where Gwen was. They just called a dive. It's really easy if you just layer CC for a Methyl. Yeah, MF passive move speed, crazy on the W. I mean, they get the kill there, Matt, but I mean, G2 do have two Drakes and it's Hextex also. Their dive is really strong. I mean, their team fight is strong. Malkyult, Alistar combo, Kenanult sets up MF beautifully. Whereas the Yasuo just has Rehel W. Let's see. Could Divi just flash in for the solo bolo? He kills him, no? Oh, he's he, he can flash Q him if Mirwin steps up too far. I think Broken Blade should play for the one for one there. I'm not sure if he could. Alvaro has flash. Oh, we'll yikes! Holding him. No ult yet for the for the for the for the Alistar. Oh, the, the arrow was good. Gwen can't get the kill though. Maokai ult is strong. TP from Kennen is big, but he has no ult. And someone no flash. He probably dies. Losing flash is rough, but Caps is gonna get top tier one. Frescao is gonna get bot tier one. It's two for one on the map in favor of Mad, and they trade towers. First tower to Corky too. Mad's winning. Well played by well. both teams. Well. BB makes a bolt play. Mad TP to cover it. G2 force mid. Mad TP to cover it. Caps get top tower. Mad get bolt tower. Caps didn't have TP. 1.1k gold lead for MF and Corky is insanely good for gold distribution for Mad. Actually perfect. He has flash. Doesn't need to use it. Herald is up, but he just lost Kenanult. I think Mad should reconsider the fight a bit now. Caps when Navori first item, is that good? Alvaro might have trolled it. Yeah, he's dead. Broken Blade's a bit deep though. He found Supa. Supa down, BB down. Mirren has no ult, he's useless. Q misses, but it hits Maokai for the ult. Caps finishes Yoya. Looks for Mirwin, he has to flash here, Mirwin, surely. Or does he? Caps overcooked it. Well played by Mirwin. Mirwin answering the kill there is not bad. So Alvaro's caught and they try and go on Renekton. But watch Super, arrow hits, no cleanse, and then G2 collapse on Super. BB and Super trade, but Alvaro's dead. It's 3v4, but they don't have Kenanult, which is the problem. If they had Kenanult, they could fight this. Yoya lives for a long time. Yike gets out, Caps goes over for Mirwin. It's three for one at this point. But Mirwin just gets this last kill to make it three for two. So it's not the worst. Mad get the Drake, so that denies it. He's ulting Broken Blade. That's a lot of damage from the cannon, isn't it? I think they're trying to save the wave to get bots here too. Look at this, they have two range creeps, but the grubs are helping them so much. Oh my god, did they just get bot tier 2 with two 1hp range creeps? That's crazy smart actually. Confident, they knew if they can ult and save the wave, they only need two for the tower. And the grubs will tank the rest. And the tower damage was nuts as well from the grubs. I mean, one way to nerf grubs would be that it targets minions. Actually no, the grubs, have, I don't know if they do more damage to the tower than minions. Anyway, big, big objective pickup. Mirwin is very strong. Like, he is very strong at this point in the game. Top tier one dead. I will say, Mad Lions' macro has been good. It's been really good. It's been really pleasantly present to watch. Like, actually, G2, everyone's both side lanes. Both cross mapping has been very good. I think the only big mistake so far is Alvaro getting caught. And, uh, yeah, it wasn't a mistake. The top dive for G2 that Mad pulled off.
I just think Matt played well. Smart dive, they saw Gwen Bob. Maybe they could have backed off tower. So the reason he has Navori on Yasuo is against four range champs, or three range champs like MF, Porky, Tenon. You can get Windwall up faster, apparently. So in a long extended fight, you can actually Windwall twice with Navori. And that can catch the range champs off guard and win you a fight. Ooh, I think he needs, he needs to flash that. I think flash is wasted here. Smart by Mirwin, don't use flash, just die. It's better. It's better. Just save Slash. Baron's up. Breaks in two. He's on a ward. They know this is coming, man. There's the Yasuo combo. It's on one. Kennen's going to fry them, but he has the ult. It's over, by the way. The Yasuo comp's not working. The commit's not good enough. It CCs the Corky, but that's it. Yo, Mad Lions are going crazy. These are big kills. Oh, the rocket almost hit. The rocket almost hit. Yo, Mad Lions is going crazy. Iba is losing it. That was a massive fight for Mad. Mad knew this play was happening. Yike goes in and gets one shot. They use the relic gauge onto Cap, onto Frescawi, but it doesn't do damage. Where, where's the damage? The follow-up's good, of course, with the R button, but he's on a ward. They knew this was happening. Alistar holds his Q, holds his Q, holds his Q. Waits, W's gone, Q's, knock up, CC Gwen, one shot. Once his W's gone. Engage onto Corky, sure, but they can't kill him. He flashes back, and BB just rocks up and dies. He has the ult. Yo, Mad Lions are a good team so far in this game. I mean, they're a good team full stop, but like, it's not even cheese picks. Their macro's good, their awareness is good. But Yike is, Yike kind of entered that sequence a bit. But uh, I think Alvaro just caught him off guard with the knock-up. I mean, look what they can do. Like, this Gwen is just going to die, no? Or Ash is going to die. The Maokai ult, the, the MF ult. Yoya has phase rush, the stride breaker slow. TP from Caps, he's delivered into them. He has to flash out. Yoya's going to die. Drake's up. G2 can maybe look for a Drake here, but it's kind of tricky. A lot of ults are missing from Mad, though, but it is a 4v4. Chat, what's winning? Corky, Maokai. Corky, Maokai. Corky, Maokai. Maybe they can wait, but... This game is very quickly completely falling out of control. Mickey looking for the gauge. Frescawi off to the side. A quick stun might be The wind wall's really good there. They should win. Barely. They barely. Oh, they've got. They went two for two in a wind wall. They have Smite on Yike. He can get soul points here. Unless he gets one shot. Oh my god, this Gwen jungle is so useless. I mean, it's not useless, but it is useless, you know? Like, it's really. It's strong, but it's not strong. Maybe Super is the best AD in EU. Maybe it's him. They're two for twoing behind the wind wall. The Gwen does a lot of damage, but she starts dying instantly. Nah, this is mega unthrowable for Mad. They're so strong. The MF is too far ahead. The Gwen has damage. The Yasuo almost has IE, but I think they can't win fights, right? Yeah, there's nothing that Mad can really do to accelerate the game. There's 2 minutes 30 seconds on Nash. That's basically it. Other than that, they're just chilling. G2 will get one away. fight, now they can put the pressure back on. and they have to play it perfectly. They need to get onto MF. Yike's going to base here for Seekers, I guess, or he wants to recall for Zonya Seekers. The Gwen W is big there. Here's a TP behind. This is everything for G2. I think this is a bad timer, but they got a big arrow onto, onto Corky. Corky might die here. That's huge for G2. Mickey needs to find, Mickey needs to find the MF. He's trying to stop Kennen. I think Mad's gonna win this anyway. Maybe. Oh, Caps is kind of smurfing. No way is G2 gonna win this fight. They need to get a mess, but they can't get a mess. Hansama flash forwards. Alvaro's on the side. Nice combo. Oh, Hansama! Super played that fight good. Super played that fight good. Super is a superstar. Super played that fight so well. GG. Easy game. Well played by Mad. Well played by Super. Here we are. Here's the last fight. So, MF ult is used. BBTB is behind. He's on a sapling. They have info. Arrow was great. It hit Frescui. Then, Yike ults. Frescaui dies. Alistar W's. BB tries to connect. He gets his cleanse. Okay. Kennen's behind. This is where Mickey has to make a really difficult decision. Watch Mickey. 
Does he flash W Super and get his flash, or does he peel the cannon off with exhaust? He misses his Q, BB flashes back, and now they're in a sandwich G2, where Cannon is ready to murder them. So I think Mickey does make the right call. He goes on Mirwin. He doesn't get Caps as ult, though. Maybe Caps ult could have been useful but because of the exhaust, but anyway, Mirwin will end up being pushed back. This is where Caps goes a bit ballistic. He like gets an EQ onto MF in a late game team fight, which is nuts. So he actually gets his ult off on MF. Alvaro flashes out. BB chases Alvaro, dies to Kennen over the wall, who flashed over. Then Yike and Caps try to turn onto Supa again, but Elioya roots him. MF one taps him. Handsome flash W's him, but he has passive and he's just running away. Then Alvaro re enters and combos and dies to Yike, or to Ash, but kills. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a hard fight. You only have one utility to get and Yasuo time into time the fight, right? Like, what threat is on MF other than Rel Flash? Place, Realistically, there's no the threat, there's no flank, the there's nothing. The All right, here we go. Wait, G2 but chose look, blue side. They what? They chose the blue. Jesus. All right, Zeri, Corky, Smolder. I'm just going to preemptively write these as flexes. Now, Mad Lions banned Azir. And I can't remember when they banned last. They banned another count to Corky. They take out the Rel. They're Changing the plan completely, G2. Complete oh yeah, they banned Smolder last. This is just Mad Lion's bread and butter, and I get that it's meta, but it's just so flex everywhere. I mean, are they going to ban Ash or are they going to ban Smolder? I think the Ash first pick is okay, but I wonder if they're going to change their prio here, G2, and first pick MF. Zyra ban. They're predicting MF first pick, and they're telling G2, if you first pick MF, you don't get Zyra on 2D. They take the core key. Now, Smolder's open, so they're easily going to flex Smolder. Smolder. They could the get Smolder Ash, they, they could get Smolder Corky, they, uh, the no, they could get Smolder Zeri, sorry. Imagine they could go Sejuani if you want. I think picking Tank Jungle is fine. There's the Ivern. All right, Yikes got to bust out a brand or something if he wants to match that. That's really hard to match. You're basically either asking yourself to pick Sejuani and self counter, or you have something prepared. Yeah, brand is good. And I mean, what do you I do? Mean, Brent, Cassante? Like, the problem is they flex Red, Smolder G2 top. Well, this is where G2 has a really hey, tough choice with the Smolder flex. The do you pick you Cassante and they play Smolder so top? Pick it into it. Do you pick the Ash the and then drop the top lane and then they can flex the Smolder too. even harder with top bands? They take the Ash. All right, Mad go MF. Yeah, easy. And now they ban tops, I guess. Or they could ban things like Brown. I think very good ban, Brown. Look for Leona on four. Look for Alistar. Rel's already banned, right? So one of Leona's counters is gone. They have two options. Ban away Brown. Look for Leona. Exactly. G2 have to match support bans now, so I feel like you have to take away Leona unless you want to ban Zeri as the triple flex. I think Leona is mega broken right now, and then what will end up happening is Rakan rises in priority. Surely they ban Leona. They ban Varus. They're scared of Varus top, but the problem is Smolder can go top as well. I think G2 are in a bit of a hole here. Let's see if they can find their way out. I wonder if BB has some kind of like Olaf ready on four. As a blind, uh, maybe so like an Olaf, G2, they may have to pay Olaf Rakan or something. Go for these heavy tools, I mean, they're screaming that they're going to play Rakan or Leona. That's the problem. This is the problem here. Like Ivan Leona is so Leona. OP. Ivan Rakan is not as strong, but if you blind, a Poppy's open actually. The oh, they ban North, Poppy's open. I think it's Leona on four. Easy. I don't know why they're not banning Leona. It's so good for their comp. I'm guessing he's playing Poppy or Alistar. I don't like either. And then I'm guessing they have to blind something like Olaf or Chase, but both are kind of bad, unless he plays Nasus. I think you have to blind Nasus and play Poppy support, and I think you can maybe win the game. But I'm scared. They're going to go for the Cassante. They're going to go Rakan as well. Yeah, I mean, here come the flexes. I mean, he can just play Vayne top, he can play Smolder top. They can play Lucian mid, they can play... I mean, they can play Zeri mid on last pick here and play Smolder top. They can play anything they want here. This is why you need red side. At least on red side, they could have flexed the Corky on red. I think they're fine. They could even play Nasus themselves if they want mad and have Nasus smolder. That sounds disgusting. Ezreal mid, yeah, you know, they've got all this stuff. I mean, G2's comp is good, right? Like, it's fine. Ash, Rakan, Brand, fine. Cassante, fine. Corky, fine. Their draft is fine. I just feel like against Mad Lions, Mad Lions have everything they want. They have everything. They have Smolder top into Cassante. They have AD carry last pick into Corky. They have Ivor and MF Leona. It's like, I don't think Mad are upset. The only bad news for Mad 
mad is they have so very little front line, right? It's Leona Daisy. The it's but they have insane range. They have rapid fire smolder. They have MF. They have fucking Estriel mid. So mad need to be careful of their front line and play at range. And G2 need to close that range. And I'm not sure how they're going to do it. What do you think G2 should have done? I mean, ideally, what G2 so should have done, in my opinion, is picked Nasus blind and flexed Corky Nasus to mid or top, on depending on what they play. I.e., if they last pick Vayne top, you can put Corky top into it and Nasus mid into Smolder or some shit, right? Sure. Like, I think the double flex there is the only way that they can, like, win-win. But if you want a double flex, you need to both play it, right? Ziggs, I mean, neither of these teams play Ziggs. If they do, then Ziggs would be great. Oh, nice trade by Caps. Let me see SLQ. Q. Missed. So a good trade for Caps. But SLQ hit, it'll be winning for first Gooey. Oh, nice Q again by Caps. Caps lane phase looks good, huh? Pretty good for Caps this lane. The wave's in a great spot for Corky. Look where Esriel's standing. Look where Corky's standing. You stand behind the minions against Esriel. He's chilling. Wave's not overly stacked against him. So we're going to see him take a step back. for Scary. There's a lot of damage here, Caps. but Caps uncertain if he wins this now. I just praised your lane. Oh, so oh my fun. god! Oh. Frescawi just fucking Every smoked him. Just got solo killed by Jesus! <laughs> oh my god! Yo, he just got he just smoked him! And Caps what? Caps just got rolled by Frescawi. The cavalry has arrived. Caps rooted oh, he W'd the, the Leona E, so he can't get stunned. Bit more time, Smart will. by Caps. You can do he really wants these Raptors. Free time. Should be able to steal this one away. Yikes. Oh, yoink! <laughs> oh, later, bitch! Bro, Iron is so annoying. Scally. Fuck that champ, it's Taking so stupid. Oh, yeah, this looks good for G2. Ash can chase real hard here. Leona no flash. They have no ignite though. Alvarito's dead here, but does Hansama die for it? He does die for it, I think. Oh, the flash shield from Mickey X. The shield again from Mickey X. The knock up. Is it enough? Ivern's here. Double kill for Super. Oh my god. Double kill for Super. Oi, 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 Frescawi. Oh, nice QE flash from Yike. Saved Caps there. Super's carrying. I thought G2 would first pick the MF instead of the Ash, because this MF is good. Ain't no way G2 will go game three and first pick MF, right? G2 call the swap. Oh, Mirwin TP'd back on the swap. Ah, he's gonna lose the wave. Aha. Cassante's undivable bot. This isn't great for Mad. They kind of need to swap back and match somehow. The Smolder is dove on cooldown here, I think. Surprise G2 aren't re-threatening the top dive. Why aren't they stopping Smolder? What is G2 doing? They should be they should be they should be up here. There's no TP on Esriel. They see Leona mid, didn't they? What is this? Even Matter setting up for a dive onto Cassante. Maybe they're not setting up for a dive. Leona's actually covering. Here comes Yike. Okay, here we go. Nice, now they're doing it. Maybe Yike wants to clear his top camps. They're, just, they're, they're losing. There's just you know you need to be you need to be faster on these waves. I feel like, but if if Yike wants jungle, sure. I mean, he could have taken away enemy crugs, enemy enemy reds. But I guess he cycles his camps faster. Yeah, I guess they just can't dive top if Leona's there. But I think I, I think G2's information is Ivern is missing. They think Ivern is somewhere in his jungle, right? And they think Ivern and Leona are covering top because they didn't see Ivern bolt. He was sitting in a bush waiting, so he can't get his top camps. They should have maybe. Been, I feel like G2 should have been a bit greedy, you know? Like Ash pushes in, they maybe kind of walk up here, walk to red, something, try and get some control, see what's there. The Ezreal to get that wave pushed in. It feels like at the moment they just want to try and get Super out of the match of first this on some of the range is tripping. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Gage Caps. locked up. Caps. Rooted. Chain CC. Daisy on the way and arrow there. Yike is Randall there. bounces Daisy. off the Daisy. Ow, 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 Okay, no flash down. on Leona, not bad for really Mad, uh, uh, for G2 rather. Drake's still up. Mirwin has 68 stacks, not the best, but he did get swapped on. There's the first Drake. Ui, Cassante roaming mid, no flash, Supa could die here, he has ghost up. Yeah, easy kill, of course. Should have given it to Caps, I think, but it's fine. 
That's a big kill. G2 just need to play a bit safe in bot. They should be fine. Alvaro, no flash. And the fight is called there. Good for G2, obviously. Played for caps. Three grubs for G2. Grubs up in 20. Ash can base on his bot wave and run out top side. They can re-swap again. I think it's good. Leona can freeze bot wave. But then I think with six grubs, G2 takes top tier one. So I think Ash should base after this bot wave and run top and retake over this because MDK has got their lanes all over the place. So that's exactly what's happening. Leona's freezing the bot wave for Smolder, Ash bases and runs top, Leona's late to the top play, Grubs go to G2, they hit top tier 1 and they're ahead. I think that's best, but I think Hansama's trolling by going bot, I think he's trolling. He should have run out top and they should 4-man this, I think. I really think they should be playing hardcore top side here. Get the Grubs, get Ash on top tower, let him hit, dive Ezreal. And then Kasante can base when Ash arrives, or even Kasante can join the dive. Imagine there was an Ash here when Kasante's crashing the wave on Frescawi and they have Ash Arrow and Rakan. Instead, they're like Alvaro. sitting on this bot lane, doing what? Doing what? Yike. They could have accelerated the game so hard, I think. Kasante can just uh, run in here and just tank the tower. At this, point in the game. this tower would be dead. Look at the cross map, though. Ash would be mega strong, the but the top side. They want to try and push they're doing it with Kasante. I feel like Ash should be the one being funneled this gold. And then if Mad call your cross map, right, and when you Kasante base and Ash is here, the only time it's bad is if like MFSTP, right, but she doesn't. If so Mad call the cross tower. map, you have six grubs. Ooh, so as this dies and this dies, you can just push for tier two. And I feel like Ash gets goal. so far ahead. Like but let's see, maybe Kasante carries. Ex I just feel like Kasante is strong now, but later on, Kasante just becomes a fucking punching bag for Smolder, Ezreal, and F. Like, he, he can't do anything to them. Let's see, though. I mean, he can just build full armor, right? They're doing the same kind of play right now, except they're doing it the, on the opposite side. Let's see. Maybe I eat my words. Maybe Kasante carries against full AD. Maybe Smolder has to go Leandries this game. I like that W forwards by Caps. Push them back. His team was just standing there. Just fucking go in. Nice. This is good by G2. I like this a lot. Yeah, G2's just going to take bot tier 1 now. Smolder's TPing top. I think BB should stay a bit. It's okay. I think he should stay a bit. You have no idea how broken six grubs are. Mickey should be up here. They should have forced him. They shouldn't have let them enter, I think. But maybe they're a bit scared of MF. Awa, 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 awa. Good damage. But it won't be for long. Look at Prescali. Baldi coming in for Mickey oh, now. Mickey. Going back. Beautiful. Beautiful by Mickey. Frescu is here, but yeah, they can't do anything. Beautiful by Mickey. Why no Tarby's on Cassante? He probably thinks Leona's annoying and Ivan's annoying and he wants uptime. But I guess, I mean, steel caps against three auto attackers is also quite nice. And he has his W twice anyway. But um, maybe he thinks the Mercs are just higher value. But to be honest, I think if Leona is stunning the Cassante. That means the G2's carries have uptime somehow. I feel like Leona is just committing on the brand most fights. Or Corky. Easy Drake for G2. They should get bot tier one as well. Caps has top push with top CP. They can move the Herald as well. They're going to get Drake, bot tier one, and Herald in the next minute. So yeah, G2 is a bit OP. Yeah, G2 are going to get a massive like game swing here. And then they'll get mid tier one as well after Herald. Or top tier two. Should be pretty easy. Mad can't fight. They have triple AD carry and Ivern. They just need to scale. Hansama needs to be careful here. What is he doing? He has no cleanse. Oh god, Hansama, why are we there? Either Hansama has to take a safer path or Mickey has to stay with Hans. Both are fine. Just do the same thing. Now this opens up Mads to like push in and push in a bit, right? Luckily, they have no grubs, and this tower should the be all right. Oh, BB's gonna look for the. His ghost is coming up in like three seconds. So he wants the ghost on him, I think. I think he's too far, though. He's too far, yeah. So, what did Mad Lions get from that kill? Well, I can tell you what they got. They got that right there. Insane vision from that kill. The three star Dragon Ball. Will it amount to much? No, but information is an amazing resource to have, right? No one's showing on bot wards, they're all topside. People showing on bot wards, they're bot side. Simple. They're looking for this Herald top, I think. Or they're looking to like cover caps or something. Alvaro E flash. Yeah, a bit too far. Hansama went for the London build. Triple dagger. 
The grub spawns are strong. Easy clap on that power. Nice. Yeah, Matt scales really hard. So don't let gold deceive you. G2's main angle of snowball right now are these dragons. These dragons are great for, Matt, for G2. Cloud Souls obviously not the best, but I mean, I think as much as it's not combat stats, out of combat move speed is really nice. Like, it is such a quality of life stats having extra move speed. Jesus, Torch is fair. Merwin just eat in and fake pressure that someone was behind him. Ivan was a bit far, but that was psychotic by Merwin. If Caps called his bluff there, he'd one-shot him. That was such a gamble by Merwin. Fake pressuring that guy so hard. G2 still have this Herald, but it's on caps, actually. My god, Grubs are so busted on the tier 2 hits. G2 is just playing the map really well. Bro, I'm convinced 6, six Grubs is so strong. Jesus. But sometimes I see it be so useless. I guess it's just a, it's just a snowball factor, right? 20 seconds on Drake. Should be free. Super free. When's mad on a break point? Maybe Muramana plus Triforce Smolder? I feel like they still need the rapid fire. Right six now, grubs is better than two drakes. Okay, but what about six grubs and two money. drakes, huh? And so many 200 stacks for the small da. 205. But if any of these three champions still don't stacking. Have income, completely useless. Mickey now going into mirror when El Yoya there to cover. Some more stacks for Smolder. Good flash. Kind of need to. Hansama backstep on the solar flare crucial. So the Herald was used mid in the end. I mean G2 I mean the Herald's fine. Like it was running out and it will get them a dragon. I think they would get this dragon anyway. Mad's definitely not fighting. I wonder if they can use the Herald a bit. G2, like I feel like G2 just owned the map. Nah, they can't. They can't. They're trying to get top tier one, I think, for objective bounty. But looking at this, they might lose their bot in it. Let's see, Mickey. Triforce completed. Muramana completed. All right, Mad are getting items. Mad kind of have one team fight to win the game, or like turn the game, right? They're gambling on one fight and trying to get as strong as possible. So, Smolder has Triforce, S3 with two items. S3 finally got the Muramana. We're waiting now. Alvaro's dead. Pretty tanky though, Leona, isn't she? Fucking hell. Hans is maybe... Oi, Hans, Jesus. Leona caught as well. Yeah, getting caught. That'll give them Baron. No way back in now, I think, for Mad. This is too rough to get back into. Just run at them. The Ezreal ult can do work here. They need to be careful. Caps is alive. Fresco is fucked here. Yeah, GG. Absolutely GG. Great bounce back by G2. They look a lot more confident. They're playing the map well. And this is a Mad Lions with everything they wanted. They have Smolder, they have Ezreal, they have MF. G2 have just realized, I think, in the series that they can just accelerate the game well enough that it doesn't matter. He's in TP out. Should be out, I think. Unless Caps. Yeah, it's kind of disappointing the way G the way like, Mad lost the game here. Alvaro just gets caught. El Yoya gets caught with him by the Ash Arrow, and then the game's over. You don't actually get a proper fight then. I will say, <laughs> it's not winnable for Mad, but it's not over yet, right? I know they're 9k up with Baron with soul points, but things like this can happen against their champs. And they need to be a little bit careful. Just a little bit. It's pretty much done, but they have to be just a bit careful. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. These are the things G2 cannot do. These are the things G2 cannot afford to do. It's not over with a 10k gold lead. It doesn't matter. They need to, they need to not make mistakes. These champs, they get one kill, and it's like five at this point with their champs. Like Smolder's 2-0 now. But MDK are That's still rapid fire cannon for Smolder in base nice after this wave. It's crazy, no? It like, they just they need to play in. calm here, G2. Like, what is BB doing? He's so far up by himself. Merktred's doing work, though. Oh, here comes a collapse. Let's see if they can collapse. Caps, caps, caps. Drake's up in 10. This could be a good fight for G2, actually. Yeah, they're sold. 
Great game from Yike. Yeah, the, the smolder couldn't base for rapid fire. Now the question is, okay, G2 have soul great. The soul's not that great on Corky, right? But actually, it's pretty fine on Corky, even though he, uh, he arse a lot. But does Matt get an elder fight? That's what G2 need to make sure doesn't happen. It's funny that Ivern has dog seal, but Bren doesn't. G2 are waiting for the Baron. No big spikes from Matt yet. They have three items on. So much. Of our top three top and AD, Esriel's a bit behind, isn't he? If they're going to win, it's going to be on the back of Smolder. 300 stacks, though. Why does Brent have Benji's? It's so he can't get Leona ulted. Leona ult forces Brent flash in most cases. Oh, he first go, he's dead. Can't be in a straight line against Rakan. Alvarito's dead, too. Yeah, that should be game if they go mid now. Broken Bay can stop their bases and Ash can go mid. Looks good. Here's Corky. See how Cap doesn't fight the Smolder? He just plays patient. Good. Mega good. Oh, hey, Mickey. Yeah, did you. All right, 1-1. One, 1-1. One. One, one. Ten, Ten kills for Yike on Brent. Jesus. Nice game by G2. They beat Matt on some of their best picks. That was a risky game because they were basically trading Ash MF again and they won on it. They were trading Corky for Smolder and they won on it. And they gave them Ivern. And they won that game. So, yeah, G2 got a lot of like positive from that in draft terms. Yeah, the brand pick was huge. Like I said, like if they blind Ivern and Zyrus banned, you need to play Brand or Nidalee. And he's not going to play Nidalee, so he needs Brand or it's just fucked. So it was a good pick. Yeah, and they won on blue side. I'll be surprised if Mad choose blue side as well. Okay, let me see it. Let me see your drafts. Uh, I'm guessing Vi Maokai. Yeah, here comes Trisana Azir. Do they change the Zyra ban to Brand? Do they stick to the same draft? I feel like they might. What if they ban here? Last they ban Rel. Here they ban Zyra. The same ban, same ban. I mean, I think they will do it. Yeah, I think Mad should run it back. I think, like I said, they should look at jungle mid. Corky. Now, what they should do is either pick Zeri early or or pick the Ivern later. Is my opinion, because this is everything Mad wants. I'm sure of it. Okay, they changed the Ivern to Lilia. I like that. Fair enough. Jungle mid is where they need to fix it. Now here comes Ash, I presume. Are they going to go Brand again though into Lilia? It's kind of hard to play Nidalee into Lilia. They could play Sedge, but I, I think it's it's probably just going to be Brand again for Yike, right? I mean, he's comfortable. He plays really well. There's the Ash that they pick on two three. So MF will probably come out on three unless they want to swap it to Jin. I think or Varus they're fine all three are fine there's the brand yeah G2 stick to it and here's the MF nice I think Matt have had a good adaptation so far now what I think they can look to target here is they could look to do a Cassante ban if they think Broken Blade is being a bit of a Cassante merchant in these fights alternatively they can look to ban Braum again I think Braum ban is really good again for Leona on four which I think is a good pick fantastic and I think G2 can stick to the same kind of Strat they're doing with a Varus band to stop the flex. I think it's fine. Great. Now I think Matt can definitely look for what could you contest. Yeah, Renata ban is fine. Renata ban is okay, but I wonder if Rakan is actually better now because the engage supports are really annoying. You could adapt on this ban here if you're Mad Lions and change Renata to Rakan. Force him on Alistar. They're going to keep the Renata ban. Okay. What is it that, that G2 that banned here? They banned Nautilus. I think Leona ban is, is better yeah. still. <laughs> here comes the Leona again for Mad. I think it is the best pick unless you want to pick Rakan yourselves. Yeah, like I said, Mad should stick to it, but they should change mid. Here's where they should last pick Zeri instead, I think. G2 are going to get Cassante. G2 are going to get Rakan. I think G2 are probably going to keep the same comp. I don't think they should, unless they want to change it. Yeah, they're going to keep the same comp. Now, here's where I think they should change Zeri, and they shouldn't go Esriel again. Or Yone, even better. Perfect, they changed jungle mid. Fantastic, very expected, but really strong. Chat, I'm going to run ads quick. If you want to avoid ads, you can use a tier 1 or Twitch Prime. You don't have something to do with the game starts. Here's a big kiss. I'll see you in a sec. That, but I 
thought we'd get in the mid lane to match the Corky, but Yone, no, I a wait. very cool pick, and I'm excited to see how he's been I think Mad will be better off so with this jungle mid. Good adaptation from Mad. I think they recognize the problem quite easily. G2 comp is good. Yeah, G2 comp is good. Like I said last game, G2 comp is strong in isolation. It's fine. I just think they could maybe draft a bit better at shutting down what Mad wants. Because Mad got everything they wanted again. They just kind of altered their mid jungle. But if G2 can beat Mad on their best champs, on their like Perhaps strongest the picks, then the that we saw I mean, yeah, fair enough. Oi, 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 super. Oh my super. god, the W. Was that W he used there from Respeed? He walks right out of the knockup. Yeah. Caught. Yike now spotted. He could go for the QE flash. There's no flash on Leona, but it's risky. Flash from Alvaro on to Hans. They're gonna try to body block any Pritchard damage. Guardian proc is there, but Super can the Yike and Alvaro on the other hand can. Oh, the Lilia E hit. Can't get the Q. He's out of range. And Samas won. First strike, Corky is a classic into Yone. So Hansama loses some, Super loses well, Flash. Yike has Flash, he can try and punish that with Rakan Flash on Leona, right? Or, 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 or MF. Oh, bot wave is a horror, isn't it? Okay, he only got one tower shot, that's good. Frescaui is in a great spot. BB has good top push, but he's already TP'd back. And MF is ahead in bot. Oh, she lost the cannon though. So he's going to get every CS there under the tower. Sorry, They're perfect. Drake and Grubbs are spawning. Drake's up, Grubbs are spawning. Surprised how much top push G2 have, but I think it's because Mirwin's greeting his TP, but now he's base TPing. He's doing well in the lane. 42 stacks of 5 minutes. Not bad. Not bad at all. Alright, G2 lane swap. Can they dive Cassante? I don't think they can dive Cassante, but Supa is 6. This game is definitely way slower. But Matt is just slowly winning top. 60 stacks, 7, 8 minutes, not worst. But they've swapped on uh, on the smolder. They kind of need to get Mirwin back to bot, so Matt are in a bit of an awkward spot. Doesn't feel great to have Smolder here, but I guess Leona can lane with him. It's a very, ex it's a very similar scenario to game one, uh, game two. You have Leona, Smolder lane top. You have MF alone bot. I've been hovering for a little bit, but G2 can't dive top because Lilia's in fog. Waiting for a fight. Cassante is hitting bot tier one for free with three grubs. Supas back to lane now. He's a bit scared of being dove. Stops Look at the gold lead in mid, though. Either, Caps 500 up because of first strike and a small CS lead. Ash is leaning against the Smolder, and Cassante really is bot undiveable. Friends. This lane's up. Hansama is a lone top, but Mirwin's not 100% sure. He saw Rakan mid, but, but he doesn't, I don't think he knows where Brand is. Also, Ash is quite strong right now. I think Broken Blade's fine, you know. I think he's undiveable. He's completely undiveable. They have TP? No, they don't. Maybe they have to force it, you know. Maybe they just have to try. He's definitely not on Bible. He's absolutely one shot and Mickey wasted flash too. Jesus. Absolutely one tap, my guys. Nice and effort, I like that effort. Push out bot. Yeah, good play by Mad. And look what Leona does in the base. Run out top side, cover Smolder. Alvaro ult is down and so is MF ult. It's a bit tricky to fight these grubs. MF's MDK going back bot. Oh, this lane assignment for MF is just, it's so annoying. Like MF matching Cassante, she can't, even though they dove him, it doesn't stop him from just pushing bot and being fucking annoying, right? They get grubs, Smolder stuck top under tower against Ash, permanently being threat of dove. It's not great, is it? They also have Ash arrow up, so Smolder might just die here. And the staggered respawn of objectives means that MDK aren't really able Boy, to the movement is clean yet. though. He, might go for the re -dive on he needs to back out now, Mirwin though. Despite the man or he needs to oop the next wave. He needs a Yone TP. So Frescao is fast pushing mid. As well. They have a cannon. The Yike is here. Mirwin's in trouble. Mickey trying aye, 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 to chase aye, flash out. Not able to find oh, the Brand charm. Oh, Brand Q missed. He needs a TP. He's so fucked. He got the wave though. Nice dive by G2 and they're out. Really nice dive by G2. Yike has no flash. Frescaui might search for it. Here comes the dive bot. Caps TP bot really? Caps really? He TP bot. BB TP too. Are they gonna dive him as well? No shot. Maybe they can slow poke him. 
He's using MF, MF passive nicely here, Supa. A bit of a late TP from Freskawi and a bad TP from Caps. Net Supa an extra kill. And the problem is G2 with six grubs couldn't take top tier one. But even though the tower is on one HP, MF is staying to help Drake. So that means Hansama might just get bot tier, two, uh, bot tier one. Possible that G2 get this bot tier one now. Ooh, if they had arrow to cancel MF there, it would be great. Great. So here's the bot tier one that G2 were pressuring. Almost, almost down. Smolder still has a 40 CS lead over Cassante and the level lead. But he's only on 99, 100 stacks, so not the best. The mid jungle picks are stabilizing the game so much more for Mad Lions, right? They haven't lost the tower yet, but they've stabilized the map a bit better. The Yone is quite strong, the Lilia is quite strong. They can at least skirmish in the early game. Mad looking for bot here, one first bot tower. Looks gone, yeah. The only threat here for Mad is would be a TP ward behind, right? But G2 don't have TP, and they know it. Caps TP bot. I don't know when Cassandra TP, but they must have tracked it. Maybe he TP bot as well. They are giving up objectives, Mad, but mostly on top side where the Ash has been. The bot side where the MF has been, they've been getting Drakes at least. Oh, they got Lil Yoya. And the arrow as well. Clean by Mad, uh, by G2 rather. Here comes the TP from Broken Blade. Smolder doesn't really want to TP in here. Oh, BB, good patience. Can he kill him though? Or is he just dead? <laughs> Finally got MF flash. Can he get top tower Mirwin? No, right? Caps just pushed him back. A lot of damage from Mirwin though. Oh, he got tower aggro on the W. If he didn't get tower aggro, I think he kills him actually with ult. Ult auto Q get aggro, I think it kills him. I mean, Supa is going to have to carry, and he is very strong. Good arrow from Hans. He has to cleanse Flash, though. The Brand ult hurts. BB maybe should just, like... Maybe the best thing here is holding W, and when he flashes at Supa, he just Ws back. Supa is a bit OP. 10 seconds on Drake. Corky's heralding top, Caps is driving it, but Mirwin's not really stacked up enough. Nice, Leona ult onto Brand. They can't follow though, the ideal scenario there would have been Leona ult, MF ult on that Brand, chunk him out and get Drake. Man start the Dragon. I mean, Frescawi has lifesteal, right? TP from Caps. Where is Yikes ulti gonna go? The big question, the flank now coming Oh, in. double knockup is beautiful from Michael X. Michael X, you delicious man. What a good flash. Ooh, the sleep is big though. Oh, if they had Smolder a little bit further there, he could have killed. Lily has no flash, Yone has no ult. They can't finish caps. Easy Drake for G2. Got a good good engage from, 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 from Mickey. What a good engage. They almost turned it with the Lilia sleep. I mean, Mickey has flash, Super doesn't, right? So he's just calling here a mega engage. Oh, man, they could have had two or three kills there, man. Maybe Yone shouldn't have snapped back so early. Not sure. Oh, Leona hex flashed into the arrow. Otherwise, he would have hit Frescoe or Yoria. Super's fucked here. He can't move. Actually, he's fine, but his team's dead instead. Baron's not up for how long? 10 seconds? Yeah, they got Baron. Easy Baron, I think, for G2. Man, the Smolder is just scaling too much, it feels like. G2 are playing too fast-paced for the Smolder champ. I wonder if Mad should have just given up the Dragon fight, Chad. Do you think if Mad just don't fight the third Drake and give it and just scale, the game would be fine? Because they are playing Smolder, and Smolder's not joining any fights apart from that one Dragon one. Yeah, they're too far behind from that Dragon fight, and they got Mega Quad. Should be pretty simple for G2 from here. No Ivor means, you know, the scaling's hurt a little bit. Yone TP. Smolder's kinda here, but Yone's TPing in to run away. Oh, big damage onto Brand. Really well played by Alvaro and Supa. Full channel Leona ult on, on the Ike there. He needs Zonyas. He should buy Zonyas right now. Or Banshees. Both are good. One's good against Lili uh, Leona. One's good against MF. Drake in one. Smolder has 207. So Smolder should be stacked for Drake. Ay, 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 ay. Ay, 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 ay. I actually think, you know, I take it back a bit. I actually think Mad is in. It's, it, it looks bad, but it's not that bad. 
Again, G2. It's not that bad. So I think if I was Yike, I would have just bought a Seekers, to be honest. He had the gold for it because he bought the Null Magic and sold it. He's kind of greeting for Vert. Actually, no, he, he could get Verdant Barrier, right? Nah, never mind then. All right, Drake for G2. It's 2-2 in Drake's. And Mad have taken their foot off the gas. They realize when they lose Baron, guys, we need to stop fighting. But they should have realized that after the after the set, after before the when the third Drake spawned. Also, Mirwin didn't have a stack still yet. I'm surprised he didn't get 20 stacks in a minute. But and so much as you highlight Baron in 130, Matter pinging to defend top tier two. From G2. Smolder so ideally needs rapid fire. When Smolder gets rapid fire, he can really lock in. But if uh, if Smolder gets hit by arrow or anything like that, he's fucked. He is locked in. Caps. Oh, nice E flash by Alvaro. Kill for Yone is nice. He's gonna die though. So it is one for one. Oi, he has Mercs. He has no Zonias though. These arrows are painful. Here comes Broken Blade. Smolder has no TP. Super dead. Nice MF ult will kill Hans, I think. What he step back to heal? Okay, he got it. He just got out. Okay, they're out. Jesus. 30 seconds on Nash. They won't lose Baron, but Jesus. They still have MF Flash, which is pretty big. And level 16 Smolder. They're still okay. It's not the best spot, but it's playable for Mad. Hans did a lot of work in this fight. It's really nice arrow. No rapid fire on Smolder though. Oh, that's what I mean. He gets hit by an arrow. He's dead. <laughs> Don't know why he's so far up. But easy snipe. Good arrows. Good arrows by Hans. Really good arrows. Easy arrow. Easy Baron. They give the Nash. I mean, Matt, they can't really fight it, right? Their small dot is dead. Man, the way Matt's losing these Barons is just sad, you know? They just Smolder's too far up, Arrow, Baron's gone. Last game, Leona tries to ward and Ivan gets called with her, Baron's gone. They're just getting picks here, G2. I mean, of course, they're doing the right thing, right? They're punishing Matt's mistakes, but like Matt's just not disrespecting, but just being sloppy. Caps is keeping top, they're dropping Drake. Uh, I mean, Mickey can cancel bases. I don't know if I like that call. Let's see, though. The arrow can do a cancel on Lilia. Yeah, actually, this call was really good. I take it back there, Baron buff. Yeah, really good call by G2. Just take two in and play Bob. Smart. As long as they're very conscious of the next Drake fight, they're fine. They can't. They have, I mean, they have Baron for a minute. Yeah, it was a good call. I take it back. Obliterating the base. And now they I just, just don't like playing against really good scaling comps on Soul Point. So the trade is like much. Matt's now base is going to be hard to hold. Making their way down top, making but if they can hold for four the minutes, blade. they'll be fine the because the inhib respawn timer is around the same time as the Drake spawn timer. They just got to hold. Can they hold? G2 are trying to get to the bot tier 2, belt tier 3 as quick as they can with 20 seconds of Nash. TP wards behind, but who's TPing behind realistically? Good arrow. What a good arrow. Can they play on it though? They can definitely play on it. Mirwin's just out though, he lost his flash. And that holds the wave. Caps plays with him a bit. Frescaui's ult gets flashed away from. Why didn't Frescaui kill Caps there? Can Mirwin clear? No, probably not right, can he? Yeah, TP from BB just to make sure. Where is Frescao? He's completely DC'd this game. Wait, hold up, hold up. Surely not right. Where's fucking Yone? Where's Yone? Oh my god, Mirwin, does he have rapid fire? Not, oh, Mickey Solo killed him. <laughs> Where is this Yone, bro? What the hell? I think Mad, like I said, should prioritize Zeri. But I also think they should care about Cassante. Because, like, this smolder top is completely AFK. This Cassante champ, BB is getting away with murder on it. They need to do something about Cassante. Maybe pick it on four. Vi, Maokai, Tristana, Azir, smolder. Change up the smolder band. Oh no, it's Zyra, right? Has Mad found La Formula? Ah, it's the Cassante band. I agree. They need to be careful of BB Rennington, though. Must be Corky first pick, right? 
Unless G2 have adapted. Now, are they going to prioritize Ash higher? Insta slam Yone Ash. Nice, I like it. They've changed the prios a bit. Now, G2, are they going to take Brand MF? Would work. Are they going to take Rennington Brand? Are they going to take Rennington Sejuani? What's their adaptation? Are they going to take Jin? Jin Brand. Also fine. I think personally, Rennington plus Brand is probably the best. Or Lilia. They're going to take the Jin Brand. Okay, fair enough. Now, on three here, what do they do here? Mirwin. Does he take Rumble? Rumble. Rumble's not too bad here. The Do they take the AP jungler like Zyra? I think Zyra is also quite good here. They need to be careful of Seraphine though. I feel like Mickey, if you look back on the BDS series, he was running it down. Then they picked Seraphine for Mickey and he played good. I think what's going to happen here is they might ban Seraphine and I think Mickey's going to go Bard. I think they're going to go Renekton Bard. And I think they're going to win. This brown pick won't work versus Mickey, I think. Unless they snipe the Bard here. They ban Nolt. I think he has Bard or Seraphine. Both are really good. All right, Zyra. I don't like Zyra Ash, Brown. Feels terrible unless you know uh, you jungle have feels hard here unless it's Sejuani. I feel like it has to be Sejuani. Sejuani Yone, Sejuani Brown. It has to be. One, yeah, Bard, Seraphine easy. are good. Rennington, yeah, I'm thinking about Rennington. Do I like Rennington? I think what could happen is Rennington and then Poppy on five. What else could happen is Rumble. No, I don't like Rumble. Oh, they're going Rumble if they're going Leona, then surely. Surely they're going Rumble here, then. No way they're going Leona, Rennington. Aatrox. Oh, Mirwin's got a cook against that. Zeri top, Vayne top, Camille top. What do you got? Maybe Rennington for Mirwin. I think they should have gone Bard or Seraphine. Maybe Olaf top is his pick, actually. I wonder if it's Olaf. Olaf would murder that. Gwen top. Man to have really good, like, single target fuckery. You know what I'm saying? Like, anyone walks up single target. Ash Arrow, Brown passive, Brown ult, Sejuani passive, Sejuani ult, Gwen and Yone are just tearing so through with true damage. I think G2 lane swap is not a bad idea, but G2 haven't lane swap much recently. I don't know why, they've stopped lane swapping. Ash Brown is strong level 1, need to be careful. Imagine reloading in 2024, couldn't be me. Mickey trying to stop Alvaro from getting any further to the spacing from Supa was really good. Massively MDK paper yeah, trade. It was a bit bad now. Super taking a decent amount of damage. Four shot, evening things up a bit, but Hans Thomas still taking damage. Finally able to reload. Oh, Mickey! Full committing here. Jin can cue flash, the flash auto. Boom! 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 Crazy that Jin Leona won one v one against Ash Brown. Uh, two two against Ash Brown level one. Is that just minion diff damage? He should get level three off the cannon. Three wave crashing El Yoya on the way in. Might just be about getting XP. Bro, Aatrox Q one on this skin looks like Q three. Oh my god, he's gonna one for one it. Disaster on the top side. Broken Blade gonna get up one or two. That is so good for G two. That is so good for G two because now they can invade Sejuani's camps. BB loses TP, but Sejuani only did her top camps and went in top. Look at her bot camps, bots winning. And Brent's gonna be level 4 after red. So big problem in bot side jungle, I think. They need to cover it. They're covering it well, but it didn't turn into anything. Good cover. Still really far behind on the clear, though. He hasn't even done blue buff yet. Yikes, spotted. Yikes, faster on the clear right now, though. Even though Sejuani has a gold lead, Brent has the XP lead. I think they found the weakness in the armor. They're gonna oh, Yike again. Flash Yike is good. Is Yike Flash is so good. This, this looks like a quick so one. Good. I predicted 3 1 G2. Wait, my predictions finals. are crazy today. Hasn't been finding those I said 3 1 Genji and 3 1 G2. Wait, I'm on fire chat then. He could have broken blade. Almost level six in trouble, but he's been here before. Level six now comes through extra healing. Nice side step. Do they have the damage? The yeah. Q3 buys a bit Easy. more time, but it's just not enough. Nice kill. Well, yeah, Mirwin's gonna have to carry this, but I don't know. How strong is Gwen on this patch? I haven't seen a lot of Gwen. I haven't watched a lot of Gwen. Fake pressure cleanse is not bad. Especially with Sejuani reaching six in a camp. Supa's getting blasted, though. Not looking good. Quiet game. Five kills is nice, but the game hasn't broken yet. Ideally, mad get the Drake, but looks a bit tricky at the moment. Yeah, he's trying to get some vision, but he might just walk into a brand. Yeah. Caps is under a bit of a bit of stress, a bit of problems in mid. No fleet footwork. Looks good now. Mirin's gonna have to base and catch top. Gwen has Nashor. She's really strong. G2 is gonna swap now. G2 gonna swap. Super missed a lot of those minions. Frescawi has good mid pressure, but the Jin is so much stronger than the Ash right now. It's such bad map setup for Mad Lions. Grubs are gone. 
top tower will Confidence die eventually. The map control for G2 is so, so much better. Really easy game for G2 here. Now all they have to do is get top tower. Top tower is dead. She just swapped their bot lane back bot. Drake's up in a minute 30 and they're going to hit bot tier 1 maybe. They might lose a herald. Is EU just inevitable? Is it just G2 fanatic every fucking time? No throws this weekend if it's G2. No throws tomorrow. Brown will choose. This is a big play for Mad. They gotta make magic here. I mean, Hansama's dead as fuck. Is Alvaro dead? Liandri's all the Guardian. Does Yike have Liandri's? Guardian's big there. Good call there from Mad. TP behind worked. Oh, get the bolt here once. On the next wave, does BBTP down to defend it? Nice. Dead. He can just tank it, I think. Mirwin is really fucking strong now. Holy fuck. That that tower, the kill on Frescawi recovered mid a little bit. Jin lost cleanse. But Supa is an absolute bot this game. He's 90 CS at 14 minutes, 0 1. Mad Lions love sweepers, they always build sweepers. They're gonna lose bot tier one here because I mean Caps is gonna shred it. But Mad are gonna get Herald and top tier one. Can G2 play for bot tier two? Mirwin can base and cover maybe with Fresky TP. Caps is making them lose a lot of minions. He's basically letting the tower kill all the creeps before he kills it. Fresco is kind of trolling here. Oh god. He did just smoke them though. He did just smoke them. Chat, I have a question. Why does Gwen Lost chapter there. Have a lost chapter. See how they're coming back. Mirwin. Does he hop over the wall? Maybe. Mirwin waiting. Does a lot of damage. The shroud though gonna fade away. Moves out of it to reset the cooldown at least for a brief. Oh yeah, I really want that kill, but Mirwin called it off. Miscommunication there from Mad. Mad Ignance is a good item on Gwen. Faster ults. Also kind of nice. They have a lot of CC, I guess. Then. If Gwen has a lot of CC on her team, then Malignant can do a lot more work, I guess. Two minutes on Drake. The game is pretty even. Even though Jin's 2.8k up, I say even. Maybe Jin obviously is really strong when he gets IE. But right now it's okay. But okay, never mind. Ball IE. I guess Jin is monster broken now. But Gwen's quite strong if she gets Malignant. Then this Jin is so strong. But how much uptime can the Jin get? That's what matters. Okay, well, Mirren ulted him and caps W to wait. Is Mirren just dead here? He might have to ghost. Easy flash ult from Miona. Yeah, Mickey steal the kill. You deserve it after that ult. Is this unlosable for G2? I don't know if it is. I just need to see this Gwen damage on a CC target. Drake's up. I guess Matt just give it. Or do they? Gwen has TP. She doesn't really have a good ward anywhere, though. Why is Elioia calling a fight? Oh, this Ash can't fight. They just lost Ash summons for that. And Sejuani. Oh, nice work from Caps. Yeah, I'm a bit confused why they tried to fight that Drake. I feel like Mad just... Why are they fighting every Drake, no matter what? Who cares about second Drake? Jinnels hurts like a mother sucker. Jinnels hurts a lot. Shot, yeah, they have five sweepers. Come back, but he has the Q3 to escape. That said, Caps completely unafraid with the damage. Prescow is big. Needs to be perfect here. Dash in one more soul and bounce. Ah, he got Caps flash, but he played it well. Caps played it well. No Caps played it well. W in. Fresco, he had the ult. Uh, he had the flash ult from uh, Mickey. Reminder that England lost the Euros. Really good one. Maybe this rookies could do things. Mirwin called. He's in the W though. TP from BB. Mirwin's one shot. TP from Yone. Mickey's gonna run away. Super has no flash. They're all useless, really, aren't they? Their champs are just useless. Rasmuth Winter, aka G2 Caps, is way too fed. It's an easy clapper. Yo, oh, Caps needs to be careful. Oh, he got rooted. Oh my god, that root was so clutch. So clutch. It's G2 Fnatic, isn't it? It's always G2 Fnatic. Yeah, I mean, the Ash is not useful. The second the Gwen dies, I think uh, Mad have no damage. The Gwen feels like the driving force. Yeah, I, I, I don't think Mad can win. Look at, just look at the goals between the carries and tell me it's winnable for Mad. It's not. Like, 
it's a 7k gold lead in the carries alone in a 9k gold lead. Like, it's crazy. It's all where it needs to be. Mad might have to try a fight. Maybe this top tier 2 could work because they can stop caps with Yone. Or they could just go for caps. Does he have W? That's a big shutdown for Mirwin. He has Rabbit on to base now, but he has no ult, so top. Oh my god, Michael X. They got a tower. Rabbit on for, for Mirwin. It's a little bit, but it's not a lot. Drake's up in 5. You think they can get Drake? before Caps can get there. It's an objective bounty. You're kind of doing Slowly but surely. To find that miracle play. Super though, he's he's the the curtain's open. They're trying to cancel MDK the bases, aren't they? The oh, that really damage on the Jin Shroud was so strong. They're not going to go for the Dragon. They need to they defend need the base. Mirren has ult to clear. Frescaui is there. Guard. I don't think it's enough, though. But in the final moments, of this game four, they refuse to fall. Can oh, Mickey's dead. Then. Mickey's one shot. Then. The and Summer has flash. A lot of damage from the Gwen. Jin flash down. Can they get us? Can they get some stable. kind of way into Drake now, man? Doesn't look like they can. Alvaro can cancel board. bases though. Jin's cancelled. Looks like Mad will get the Drake. Gwen needs to help, but Gwen wants mid tier one. That's one objective bounty, okay, we'll but Caps is pushing for the end. This is a bit sketchy. Really Super needs help. Oh, is G2 just going to overstay and end through top? They they They're not going for it. No, Two no, objective angle. bounties is big for Matt, though. To. Actually big. Two objective now bounties is big, G2 especially considering G2, through. like, they're Mirwin far from a soul. Mirwin is mega fed. I think what he needs, Chad, I think he needs level 16. He needs XP, but it's one minute till Drake. Can Gwen get level 16 before Drake gets... He has no ghost and he's level 15. He's really close. Yeah, he gets 16 on top wave. Pretty good. He's happy with that one. Level 16 Gwen is strong. Don't underestimate it. If Caps gets caught by a Sejuani ult, there's no Mikhail's. Even though they're down 7k, 8k, 9k, fucking hell, Jesus. They can definitely one-shot the Corky. Yone needs IE, really, but he's not close to it, I think. Caps W'd in. Caps W'd in. Do they know Corky W's on cooldown? Alvaro's dead. I don't know what Matt are doing. Super might die as well now. Here's Mirwin. Here's everything. There's the Gwen. There's everything they got. They shredded through one, but... Oh, Caps live. It's over. It's G2 Fnatic. Frescaui cooked. It's not enough. He stood still. Oof. He stood still. I mean, he was dead anyway. They shouldn't have got caught there on midwave. They had a small chance, but it's gone. Of course, G2 make it to the lower bracket. As it was before, as it is again, it is inevitable. G2 return. Does he have his MVP trophy on his table? <laughs> that motherfucker caps. Respect. Big win for G2. Oh, was he stunned? I thought he stood still. I mean, he was dead anyway. It doesn't matter. Man, it's always G2 Fnatic. It's crazy. MDK did what many did not expect them to do. From 10th place, winning the tiebreakers. Hopefully the audience is more full tomorrow. After having an incredible run in the season finals, they will still be going the Worlds, but today was not their day. It is nice G2 game by G2. That stands tall and returns to well, the nice series by G2. Tall. It may be the road less traveled for G2, but sometimes you need that journey Couple hiccups. to find yourself along the way. Yo, 50 gifted subs like by G2 Thunder. Yo, much love, my cub. Thank you for the 50 gifted, bro. Level of domestic dominance. Thank you for the 50 gifted. For G2, the dominance is a road well traveled.